some things are really complicated in Power Apps, like building a while loop. My name is Robin and I finally found a quite easy solution for this, so I want to share it with you. I already prepared something, I started with an empty canvas app and put in all the necessary controls we need for the while loop. We have a reset button which initializes our variables that we need. We have a counter that you use in nearly every while loop. We have a sum variable, we want to sum up the counters for the example today. And we have a loop variable we need as a little helper. And we reset this text input field where we can type in how many times we want to loop. So we use the input as the while condition. The while condition goes in on this button and we start in Power Apps with an if statement. The while condition is if the counter is smaller or equal to the value of the text input. And then we use our head variable and set this to true and afterwards we will set the help variable to false again and we will set our little helper as the default property of the toggle and to the on check property of the toggle goes the actual function we want to process during every loop. Here we want to set the sum to the current sum plus the counter and afterwards we want to increase the counter by one Now we can put in 10 here and execute the loop manually by clicking 10 times and the counter goes to 11 because it's uh, equal or greater than 10 so um, the while condition is not met when the counter goes to 11 and to automate this we just want to automate the click on the button, so we use a select command for the loop button. And now we test it again. We said put in 10 here and it works, works automatically. And the beauty of this method is that I don't need a for all. I don't need a collection with numbers from 1 to 10. I can easily set this to 100 or even more. And that's what I wanted to show you, a proper while loop with an exit condition that Microsoft somehow didn't put into Power Apps.